Hi, Karen. How you doing? Uh, I saw your video on uh, staying focused. Yeah, that used to be a major problem of mine as well when I was uh, when I was younger. Uh, it, it's a bizarre situation now. Before I, I would never be able. I, I, well, I say I before I, I would admit I, I couldn't get any work done without being distracted. I still can't get anywhere without being distracted. The distraction is still around me today. I just sort of learned how to deal with it. Uh, instead of trying to fight against the distraction, uh, and I found a way to do my work while I'm being distracted. That's kind of how I how I resolve the problem. Now, yeah, I'm gonna get distracted. I've got my TV here, and I've got my computer here, and right in front of me, I've got two androids, and there'll be a third one eventually joining me uh, next week. And so what I've learned how to do is I've learned how to do multitasking. So while I'll have Maybe a TV program, something from my network on, on the on the TV here. I'll have another program or something to do on uh, YouTube to go visit everybody on YouTube. That that's just, this is sort of what my problem was, is that you have to visit people on YouTube to sort of say hello and you know stuff like that and keep your uh, uh, your presence up. Uh, and so I do that on here, but I also sometimes have to watch documentaries. So I watch the documentaries uh, from my network up on on there, and I also have YouTube on my other TV up here. So uh, I can watch a uh, the video from uh, my normal feed from uh, from uh, Cyborg Alpha TV here, and then I can watch the stuff that I do for, uh, for documentaries on the second one, and I can actually have them both playing at the exact same time uh, because when you're watching a documentary and I, I do a lot of documentary work I do a lot of research work here uh, I am a scientist uh, after all uh, is that the, not all the parts are exciting and if you're going through let's say five six seven even seven hours of documentaries a day you can't have the documentaries on without being distracted so while the documentaries on I have I'll be distracted by YouTube uh, uh, on here, and then on the tablets I'll have Tumblr and Facebook. So, in other words, what I've done is I've, I've spread out my distractions so that while I'm watching X amount of hours of documentaries, uh, I've got other stuff that when when I get bored, I can do it here, but I can also stay focused uh, on the on, on the uh, documentary at the same time. In other words, what I've learned how to do is I've learned how to multitask. And that's kind of what you have to do is if you're a person who gets distracted and you want to get your work done, you got to figure out how to multitask. And the only way to do it is to get down and do it. The first, maybe a little while, you know what, you're not going to do so hard. But then after a while, as you get used to doing the multitasking, uh, then the distractions in the background will start to disappear. The, 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 the negative points of distraction in terms of pulling you away from work will become less and less. In other words, you even though the distractions are still there, they're still pulling you away, you'll still be able to get your work done that you need to get done, because I know you're studying photography and other things like that. Uh, is, in other words, uh, and the thing is, the way I look at these challenges, it, and this is, was for many years ago, there was a cartoon out there uh, called Kim Possible. Uh, I like it, and I still like it today. Uh, and there is a, there's a kid in there who, uh, spends his entire life behind a computer. You never actually see him in, 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 in real life in the program. He just always on this computer. Well, you, I figured out a few years ago that you can actually turn real life into a video game. You can play real life like a video game. And that's sort of what I've been doing is that, and every time you succeed at something, you view it as leveling up, as getting up to the next level. So, when you have problems, when you have challenges, in terms of things that we're, we're, we view them as, normally view them as failures, uh, don't be afraid to hit the reset button or to get a new life and, uh, you know, try again. Uh, you know, treat it just the way you would do any other video game. Uh, the only time where you can't get a new life is you're doing something that's really dangerous and you end up getting killed, you <laughs> really getting killed in it. That's the only time you can't get up again and, uh, uh, you know, try, the, try it again. Try that run again or that level again. But if it doesn't kill you and if it's, an all, it's, it's, it's something that just sort of bruises your ego a little bit, you know what? So what? It bruises your ego a little bit. You go back down. You start all over again. And you move up. The, you move up. Move, you try to move up to the next level, starting all over again from from that be, the beginning of that, that that level there. And as long as you get some of that uh, into your mind, into your, into into your mind frame, mindset in terms of how you think about things as part of your routine life, then. Uh, 
even distractions like this doesn't have to be a bad thing. It, it, it can actually be uh, just sort of a way you can sort of learn how to deal with, 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 with what's around you. And anyways, um, I'll leave that here. I uh, hope this helps. Uh, if you have any more questions about staying focused or needing help with wh whatever you're doing, uh, just let me know. Uh, I'll try to help you in any way I can. <laughs> because, you know, I do understand about being distracted. I do understand about being uh, sort of uh, put off or dismayed about the work you're doing. Because you can particularly, if you go into something and you think that you're uh, going to be good at it, and then you find out in the beginning that you're not get good at it. The tendency for the average person is to quit and go, ah, I'm not good at this, I'll try something else. Uh, but the thing is, is that not everybody's good at everything. And the thing is, you don't have to be. But that doesn't mean you should quit either. Uh, because in the beginning, when you do something for the first time, you should expect to suck at it. I mean, in other words, your first attempts are not going to be good. It's only when you, pra only when you practice and you start practicing, practicing at it, a lot, that's when you start getting good. And, you know, when you look at, let's say, photographers, right, they're taking their pictures. Their first pictures don't come out good. Even, even, when they, even when they go and take pictures at, at a place, you should see how many pictures they end up taking. They take, up, they, they take hundreds of pictures. And out of those, all the hundreds of, let's say you take, you take a professional photographer. A professional photographer will go and take a picture of something. He won't take one picture, he'll take a couple hundred pictures, and then out of those hundreds of pictures, only a certain percentage will turn out good. And so, basically, uh, even professional professional photographers and professional whatever you are, you play the averages. Not everything is going to come out good. On average, things might come out good, but again, you're playing the averages. So, don't get dismayed, don't get discouraged. Um, View this as a, uh, a challenging video game, and if something trips you up, just start over again. You know, learning from your lessons, but dust yourself off and get going again. Alright, I hope this helps. Bye-bye.